Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. Okay, so this video explores whether or not changing your DNS settings on your Fire TV stick will help reduce buffering. Now, unfortunately, a lot of people don't understand what a DNS server is, so let me explain. So by basically, a DNS server is a bit like the contacts, the phone book in your phone. Now, when you connect to a website online, underlying its address, say, www.google.co.uk is a set of letters and numbers. Now, on the old system, it was just numbers. It was an IP address, an IPv4 address, which was basically four sets of three-digit numbers, a bit like a telephone number. And rather than you having to sit there and type in the IP address from a, a website, you can type in the actual name of the website, say www.google.co.uk, and then the DNS server would then go out and find the actual address of google.co.uk and connect you to it. Now, without a DNS server, if we wanted to get to www.google.co.uk from a browser, we'd have to type in the IP address, which is 142.250.187.195, or its IPv6 address, which is even longer, and that is 2A00 colon 1450 colon 4009 colon 81F colon colon 2003, which is obviously not something that you can ever remember. So what happens is, is when you type into a browser www.google.co.uk or any web address, it then goes to the DNS server. The DNS server then dials in that number either the IPv4 number or the IPv6 numbers and letters and takes you to that website. So it's unlikely changing the DNS server is going to speed up the, uh, the streaming because the streaming part, once it's connected to the server, then that's fine. The stream totally bypasses the DNS server but let's just have a look. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into uh, a speed test on my Fire Stick. Now I've got no DNS server loaded. It's just the plain standard DNS server that comes with a Fire Stick that's, uh, that's connected, which is basically my internet provider's uh, DNS server as such. That's what it will do. It will connect in through my router and then in turn my router will connect to the uh, ISP's DNS server. So let's just do a speed test. So let's just do this now. Now, I haven't got a brilliant internet connection, so it's just running at the moment, getting around about 24 megabits. So uh, it takes a few seconds for this speed test to, uh, to finish. And uh, what I'm gonna do is in a moment, we're gonna connect to a different DNS server and see how different that is. So as you can see now, the speed test is 20, has, has given a result of 24.11 megabits. So let's um, run that speed test again, just to give us an idea if it's going to be the same. So uh, as you can see, 24.141312. So, uh, and it's, it's now gone down to 23. So uh, I'm just going to take a few seconds again for it to settle down. So, uh, there you go, 23.87 this time, and I haven't changed anything. So let's give it one more retest on there, just to see what we get third time, just to give us a rough idea of what speed we're getting. So as you can see, the speeds do fluctuate from test to test, so uh, every test is going to be different. But I think we can sort of say around about 24 megabits. There you go, 23.9 megabits, so around about 24 we get just shy of 24. So let's go into an app and uh, let's change the DNS server. So, okay, I'm gonna change the DNS server to say Cloudflare. That's quite a popular DNS server. Let's just give that a try. And I'm gonna run the speed test again. So there you go, we're connected to Cloudflare. 
and uh, let's just go and test the speed again. So as you can see this time we've got still around about 24 megabits. Let's just leave it, let it settle down and see 23, 24. So this would be simulating really uh, uh, something streaming into our device. So there you go, 24.14. Let's just give it another test again. So uh, let's just see. I'm going to be eating my words now. I know this, but uh, so uh, 24 and a half we've got now, 23. Here we go. It's going to stop any second now. 24.16 so let's just try it again a third time and uh, as you can see here 24.5 24.4 it's going down so there you go 24.16 so very very slightly faster but uh, not made much of a difference at all in that. Let's just go in and try changing the server. Let's go to, I don't know, Google servers, for instance, here. So let's just go into Google, uh, disconnect from Cloudflare, first of all, and go into Google. So change it to Google there, and let's connect, and we'll give that another test. So that's now connected to Google, and uh, let's just do another test. And there we go, so, yep, yeah, 24. 24.4 it's uh, like I say it's uh, sort of all over the place at the moment but really like I say it shouldn't make any difference to streaming like I say the only difference would be would probably be the amount of time it takes to make the initial connection to the server because when you're sending off I'm just sorry I'm just going to run this test again when you're sending off a request to find out what IP address the server is connected to it, it just depends on how quickly the DNS server can respond and tell it, tell your device which IP address it needs to go to. So uh, as you can see here, 24.12, there you go, 24.11. Let's just give it one last test on the Google server. Uh, as you can see, there's very, very little difference between um, any of the DNS servers. I don't think changing your DNS server is going to stop any buffering it's not really likely to make browsing any quicker although you may well find that there's some servers which block ads like adguard for instance the adguard server now that might help speed up some apps and some websites in loading because it blocks adverts so you haven't got to wait for adverts to uh, to, to pop up so that could be where uh, Certain DNS servers like AdGuard may well come into their own, but I'm just going to do a speed test using AdGuard just to see if it's any different. So uh, not really, like I say, 24 megabits there on, on AdGuard. But like I say, some apps do have ads in them and AdGuard may block those ads, stop them from coming up. So it may mean that the apps do run quicker because simply you haven't got to wait for the adverts to come up. So in, in fairness, let's just give that another retest again, just to give us a, uh, a, a an overall average speed. And as you can say, as you can see there, 24 is still the speed that we're getting there. So uh, 24, 23, you know, it's there's, there's no real major difference between like I say, the apps on there. So one last try on the uh, AdGuard DNS servers there. So uh, there you go, nearly nearly 24. So uh, I think we can say that um, changing your DNS server is going to make no discernible difference between the actual speed of a, a, a stream coming through. But like I say, if you've got an app that you use that has a lot of ads in it and you have to wait for ads to run before you can actually get into certain things, then you may well find that, like I say, having, say, an ad guard DNS or a DNS server which um, blocks adverts may well speed up the process of being able to use that particular app. So there you go. I hope this guide helps and thank you very much for watching. 
Please, if you've noticed any difference when you are changing your DNS server, if you've noticed it helps and you don't agree with me, comment down below. I'd love to hear what you've got to say. If you know of any ways yourselves that you can, uh, you can help speed up your internet connection, stop buffering, I'd love to know your comments and suggestions. Once again, thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked this video and if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like it, then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released. Hit that subscribe button, then hit the bell, then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and also find my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thank you very much.